Hello, my name is Lucas, and the reason for this video is that I wanted to provide an audio-visual, mostly audio, but doing it with visual as well, to my article that I just released, How I Lost 52 Pounds in 52 Weeks and Regained My Health, Happiness, Courage, and Self-Esteem. So, uh, this article is a lengthier one. It's one that I've worked on for roughly a month or so, and really two years in terms of just collecting anecdotal evidence of going to the gym, lifting, getting results, all that sort of stuff. Um, so really, this article is two years in the making, but in terms of focused effort on this article it's about a month in the making and so um, I just wanted to ensure that I give a, as much value as I can um, share the information in as many different ways that I can because I know that for me personally sometimes I hear things differently than you know from audio than when I'm reading it and other times I want to read stuff and the audio doesn't quite hit so uh, or a combination thereof so I wanted to be able to provide as much value as possible and deliver this um, information in as many vehicles and in as many ways as possible so this would be a condensed version obviously I'm not gonna read through the entire article but um you know ultimately the first thing that i want to make abundantly clear is that i have nothing to sell you okay um now there'll be links and stuff in there tools i want to try to share as much as i can is at as low a cost if i can if not free um but i am not i am literally not trying to make any money off of this what i share is because it worked for me okay um, now there is one link in there that I buried at the bottom. Um, I may kick it up top too. That is an affiliate link. The reason for this, and it's to the built with science program. There's two codes. There's one that's a BW. Uh, the first code is BWS underscore fam. Okay. So BWS is in built with science underscore, and then fam is in family. Okay. Uh, that will get you 15%. Now up until about a month ago, that would get you 15% off. Um, but when I went to log in to ensure that the code was still good, um, it was showing that it was good, but they were showing that there was a new code that I had to utilize. The good news is, is that it gets you 20% off uh, the purchase of that program but there is a kickback on that one to me of a 15 dollars amazon gift card just trying to be as transparent as possible i don't care about the, the amazon gift card i truly don't if you sign up for it and you purchase it and you show me you know just send me proof of purchase and you want that amazon gift card i will absolutely send it to you as soon as i get it from the creator of the program jeremy um will 100 send that to you okay i will mail that to you even at my cost of a stamp right like that's how much i don't care about necessarily the affiliate aspect of it and i'm not i want to be abundantly clear i'm not trying to make any money this is solely i'm trying to give everything that i know in terms of what has been successful for me over the last two years because i believe in this so much and i i am happier i'm healthier and I'm, I'm feeling i'm feeling better than i have in 20 years and so i want to and that's what i want that's my that's what i want to give that's what i want to share that's what i what i want to hand over to you if i possibly can and so with that transparency there is that one affiliate link it's like an xyz one two three or something weird like that um that does trigger an affiliate commission of a 15 dollars amazon gift card which i don't care about okay you want it show me proof of purchase i'll send it to you help mitigate your costs a little bit okay um and ultimately ultimately with this my goal is to reduce your mental anxiety we all pay, play an anxiety cost of some sort um and a lot of folks have mental anxiety when it comes to losing weight my goal is to help reduce that and help you achieve your dream outcome by choosing a lifestyle over diet you're going to hear me say that a lot lifestyle over diet um, i believe that most most folks fail not because the diet is bad but because the diet is hard to maintain over a long period of time because it's literally has the word die in it like it's you're not it, it's tough to maintain keto over a long period of time it's tough to maintain south beach over a long period of time whatever it is right and i know that they'll have different mechanisms and different ways of going about things um but ultimately they are diet over lifestyle um when it's lifestyle over diet that's going to be what is sustainable long term so that's the idea behind it um and i want to help to reduce your overall mental anxiety when it comes to it and i want to give you tangible tools that i used at the lowest possible cost i can if not zero cost so uh, with that i want to lead with value too so you see in the article um you know there's a little bit of fluff stuff up the top just kind of some you know preliminary sort of stuff that needs to be said and then it's the links to everything and you know anytime the reason for this is anytime i look up a recipe okay let's say you know for carrot cake or something like that which is one of my favorites um 
there, there's three pages of why their grandmother, you know, loves carrots and how they grew these carrots and how they, you know, use a certain special sort of screen, you know, cream cheese from Scandinavia or whatever. All very cool and interesting stuff, but I don't want to read through three pages of it to get the recipe. Like I came here to get the recipe, to get the ingredients, the how to first. And then if I like it, then maybe I'll read the why behind it. So uh, that's why I've structured this article the way it is. So at the very top, like I said, a little bit of stuff that needs to be just prefaced a little bit. And then it's all the links, it's all the goods, it's all the value. I would say there's value in the fluff stuff, but in terms of just straight to the point, like you don't wanna read any of the other stuff, Boom, here it is, okay? And there's two different sections. There's uh, the primary links section that has three links in there. Those three links, if you just if you just follow those, um, don't cost you anything yeah, outside of hidden costs. You know, one of them is an eight meal prep plan. Like, yeah, you gotta drive to the store, you gotta buy the stuff, whatever, right? But in terms of like, you don't need to purchase anything today to, to look at it, to utilize it, to start planning with it. So, um, and then and then below that is just an extras. So these are just extra links that I personally find beneficial. And what we're gonna do with this video is I'm gonna quickly go through each one of those links and why they're important. Um, but then below that is essentially in written form and more in depth is the why behind the 10-40-10 plan, the why behind the eight meal plan, uh, eight meal plan guide, easy plan or easy meals on a budget guide, right? The why behind the my fitness pal, um, all that sort of stuff. So uh, it goes a little bit more in depth and then a little bit more about how uh, the decision my wife and I made, um, and then uh, just a let's connect at the end. So if you enjoyed it, if you found value in it and you want to connect with me, I would sure, certainly love to connect with uh, with you. Um, I'm here to grow my connections, uh, particularly on LinkedIn. So uh, would love to connect with you. And if you wouldn't mind commenting on this, because like I said, I've basically spent the last two years prepping for this, though I didn't realize uh, in terms of building this and, and getting results. Uh, and then the last month literally focused on building this little article. So hopefully you find value in it. And if you did, do me the favor. Uh, it, it doesn't take long, just a, you know, a like uh, or a comment. Um, and then if you really feel compelled sharing it within your network, that helps get it out, spread it more. Again, I'm not trying to make any money off this. I'm not trying to make, you know, big bucks on $15 Amazon gift cards, right? Um, this is all about, I feel good. Here's why. And here's the how. That's what that's all this really is. So uh, we'll go ahead and get into the links here. So the primary links workout spreadsheet. It's first one you'll see and there's the 104010 workout plan. Okay, this is a pared down version of um, of the program that I utilize. This is to be able to facilitate a 30 to 40 minute weightlifting section of your workout. Okay, so 10, we'll call this the 104010, 104010, 10 stands for 10 minutes of cardio, 40 stands for 40 minutes of lifting, 10 stands for 10 minutes of sauna. Now, the great thing about this is you can adjust these numbers however you would like. My numbers are more. I tend to do more 30 minutes of cardio, 60 minutes of weightlifting, and then 20 minutes of sauna. Okay, not everybody has time to do that. Not everybody's gonna make the time to do that. I get up, I'm at the gym at five in the morning, okay? Not everybody can do that, I understand that. Um, and so the great thing about this is, is that you can expand it out or you can contract it down to fit your schedule. So if you've only got 40 minutes in the gym, adjust those numbers, okay? Now, but the important thing is that you hit all three elements, cardio, weightlifting, sauna. To briefly touch on all three, cardio, People often associate weight loss with cardio and they feel like they have to go on a treadmill, they have to eat a bunch of rabbit food, drink nothing but water, torture themselves on a treadmill for an hour every single day for an hour, an hour and a half, and then do it again the next day, and then do it again the next day, and then do it again the next day. And hopefully in a couple months you might lose five to six pounds, right? After the initial water loss, because everybody loses weight in their first week. Uh, it doesn't matter the program, doesn't matter what you're doing, um, just psychologically, you're gonna lose weight. A lot of that is water weight, right? It's not actual weight. So um, so there's a false sense of accomplishment with that. But um, people will spend, as an example, there's a, there's a lady and, I don't, and I'm, she, I respect how much she is on the treadmill because I couldn't do it. There's no way that I would do it. I would get so bored, I'd get so frustrated and, I, and I'll, I'll run 12 miles on a treadmill when I do my long cardio day, okay? Um, but, those days are torturous to me I, and not because of the run, but just because of being on a treadmill. Right. And so um, I think part of what people struggle with most is when they think weight loss, they think, oh, I need to go to the elliptical. I need to go to the treadmill. I need to go to the Stairmaster and I need to eat a bunch of rabbit food. And they just hate it. I don't blame you. I would hate that, too. 
The thing with it too, is that it doesn't really get you results. Now it will over time. I'm not saying that it won't. Anything over a long enough time frame certainly will yield results. Now this young, this young lady that's been on the treadmill every day for an hour, um, you know, she certainly, she's got vigorous cardio. She certainly is tone, right? Um, but the body composition hasn't really changed much. And as you get into further into fitness, it becomes less about a weight number and it becomes more about body composition. Are you happy with your body composition? Um, now, that's something that you can worry about later. If initially you're focused on a number, focus on the number, okay? The funny thing about that is that you may realize that the number that you're going for is not actually the right number for you. As an example, I hit 187 pounds about seven weeks into, the, into this and that was my number, down from 245 pounds. When I looked at it and I got there, I didn't feel quite as strong as I was at say 195 pounds. I looked sunken in. I looked like a fighter the night before a fight or a wrestler the, you know, the day of a weigh-in, right? Where they're all sunk, sunk in and dehydrated and you can see all their bones like they're so just dehydrated. Like that's what I looked like. That's not a healthy thing. That was not a healthy, no now that was the number that made sense in my head and I achieved it. But then I realized that this is not the body composition I want to go for. I want to be more in that 195 to 200 range, which is roughly where I'm at now. Um, so as far as the spreadsheet, the important thing is not necessarily the numbers. The important thing is the three elements. The three elements are cardio, lifting, sauna. <coughs> okay. So cardio, you don't need to kill yourself with cardio. Lifting is the most underrated way to lose weight. People, do, they underestimate the power of this. I'm telling you that lifting will help you lose weight faster than spending an hour on a cardio. I'd rather somebody spend 30 minutes in a weight room, do a little bit of cardio, a little bit of sauna. You could do 40 minutes. I firmly believe this. You could do 40 minutes of, if it consists of those three elements and a good intensity, intensity, you're intentional about it and get far superior results than to somebody who spends 60 minutes on a treadmill every single day. The why behind this, I don't, I don't quite know, but I know that it works and I've seen it work. Um, not just with myself, but uh, growing up in gyms, okay? Um, it's the same thing. It, it's those that just kill themselves on the cardio equipment, their body composition very rarely changes. Those that lift and do cardio have tremendous physiques, okay? And have tremendous body composition. Now the key element, the magic element to me is the sauna piece. I also know that this is the piece that is the hardest to find for most people and it's the easiest to write off. I would argue it's the most important out of all three of the elements. Now, the reason why I say that, you still have to have the other two elements, but the other two elements of cardio and weightlifting, you can, if you need to, um, essentially develop a workout program and I can help you with that if that's something you have interest in or Jeremy Ethier's Built With Science program has a home-based setup uh, where just a few dumbbells you can get a good workout in. Um, but having access to the sauna is so huge, not just for recovery, because it's huge for recovery, not just for cardio, it's very good for cardio, but also for the mental health aspect. You'll come to find after the six months, eight months, a year of going to the gym, getting to your ideal body weight, composition, those sorts of things, once you're there, it becomes less about the workout and it becomes more about mental health. It becomes less about the physical and it becomes more about the, the mental, which is, which is a wonderful mind flip when it happens. And a big part of that is sauna. I cannot underst understate this enough. I truly believe, or overstate this enough, I truly believe that people underestimate the power of sauna. If you have access, just to give you an example, I drive past three gyms and drive 22 miles away from my home in order to get to a sauna, okay? Because that's how important it is. The three gyms that I pass, they have every other piece of equipment that I could need, they're missing that one. And they're also cheaper too. And so I understand that cost could be a portion of that, but I'm telling you, if you can somehow find a Snap Fitness or somebody that's got a sauna near you, a neighbor maybe even that's got an infrared that, hey, kick them an extra 10 bucks and have, you know, ask if you can use it twice a week, something like that, right? Something, I'm telling you, sauna is absolutely worth it. And it's one of those things that, that people tend to undervalue. So the numbers don't matter. 10, 40, 10, 5, 35. Uh, 10, 20, 20. It doesn't matter. The three elements are what matter. 
okay? Uh, second link in the primary links there is eight, me e eight easy meals out of budget. Um, so uh, this is a document that I put together that is not necessarily a meal plan. What the idea behind this is, is basically taking some similar ingredients and being able to cook them in a variety of ways um, to give you a variety of different meals. Um, the basic concept is just, you know, protein, carb, vegetable, um, you know, like anything, like a lot of other uh, eating methodologies, right? <coughs> the big thing with this is, um, you know, ultimately, it's don't don't kill yourself with this, right? I mean, people get so they get, just get so hung up on meal planning, like you know, if you got to spend eight hours on a Sunday, you know, shopping and putting things together and cooking all this food and packaging everything up. And, you know, if you spend essentially got to spend a work day just to prepare for your other work days in terms of food, that to me is not sustainable over a long period of time. You certainly do it. If that's your thing. Cool. I know people that are like that. They're super successful with it. I would say that most people, myself included, I'm going to get burnt out on that really, really fast. These eight easy meals, they're easy to cook. I can cook them. Uh, most of them are microwave bags. Like it's not necessarily, um, it, and you'll also notice too, I put links in. So uh, for like the yummy, uh, yummy drummy recipe, right? It literally has what you need to buy. And then there's a link in there that you can click that'll go to the Walmart website. All you have to do is sign in, pick your store, check out, pay for it. Boom. It'll be ready. I try to make it that easy, okay? Now, I understand that I'm utilizing Walmart and there's a factor of, ooh, Walmart, I get that. I understand that there is levels to quality of food based off where you are purchasing that from. This is solely based off of easy meals on a budget that will serve your, that will give you the nutrients and protein that you need. From there, if you want to level up in your ingredients list by getting higher quality ingredients, certainly do so. I encourage you to do so as you can afford to do so. Um, but this, I mean, one of my meals, uh, the taco bowl, which is one of my favorites. I mean, it's, it's very similar to a chipotle burrito bowl, taco bowl thing, right? And if you add a couple different elements to it, it'd be dang close. Um, and so with that, you know, add a little bit of different seasoning. Now in that eight easy meal plans on a budget, it assumes that you have things like salt and pepper. It assumes that you have some different, you know, spices, um, like the taco bowl. It's not going to have diced purple onions in there. I put diced, I put some diced purple onions in mine if I happen to have it. Okay. Um, cause it adds a nice little flavor to it. Uh, I'll put some taco seasoning on it, those sorts of things. And so, um, you know, don't get hung up on the details necessarily. Don't get hung up on that. It's at Walmart. Don't utilize all Walmart. I have a link in there to Instacart. Instacart is much better for sure, because you have access to higher quality grocers. All right. But with Walmart in the U S at least, if you're seeing this video, you're probably near a Walmart, right? And that's that's also the other part of it. So um, it's it's very budget friendly um, and it's also time friendly. There's a little bit of prep with it, of course, but it's super like in terms of like any meal prep stuff, like you're not going to spend four, five, six, seven, eight hours on a Sunday just meal prepping a bunch of stuff. Like you can meal prep, you can meal prep your, your you know, couple meals for the day um, as far as your lunches, you know, and... 30 minutes, right? Once you have all the stuff, obviously there's still a time cost. You got to go to the store, blah, 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 but trying to make it as easy as possible. Okay. Um, so eight easy meals on a budget. It's just a suggestion. I've utilized them. I like meals. Um, and I season them, season them to my taste and Hey, they work just great. All right. And it's better than eating anything from a convenience store or a fast food restaurant or spending 15 bucks at a, you know, uh, at some other restaurant, right for lunch, right. Um, so it's budget friendly. It's it's and it, it's workout friendly. It's all that sort of stuff. Cool. Um, and then the third link in there is my fitness pal, the Easy Calorie Tracker. So um, even if you purchase the Built with Science workout program, the full program from Jeremy Ethier, unless there's been an update that I'm unaware of, um, he does encourage you to utilize the My Fitness Pal Tracker. And so this is just an app. You can get on uh, your your uh, desktop or on your phone. I encourage you to have it on your phone, just like that link to the workout spreadsheet. I encourage you to have that on your phone, right? So you can have it with you at all times. Um, but this is just a super easy, super intuitive um, calorie tracker. And so what, what I'm going to encourage you to do is every single day, right away in the morning, after you use the restroom, weigh yourself, 
and then start your calorie tracker. Make sure you have it pulled up. You go to drink water, put it in there. You go to have a cup of coffee, put it in there. Now, the nice thing with this calorie tracker is that once you get a few meals, a few meals in there, okay, um, and you and you get good with it, it'll start to intuitively pop up. Oh, you ate this yesterday. Is it the same as today? And then you can just click a button and it automatically adds it in there. Um, so it takes a little bit, but once it's kind of going. Um, it makes it super easy to, to input that stuff in there um, and to track those calories. And so I, I'm going to encourage everybody um, to track your weight and your calories for the first six months. That's about how long I did mine. Um, and it's great to see in Jeremy Ethier's um, spreadsheet that he has that you can utilize if you do purchase that. Um, great to see. The, like he's got a graph that showed my progress as, you know, as, as plotting everything out. And you can literally see visually your weight dropping, which is great. On top of, um, you also can see trends. Um, you know, I tend to, I would tend to, um, start out a little heavier on Monday and Tuesday, probably from eating some pizza and some cookies on Sunday, um, Saturday and Sunday. And then by the end of the week, my weight would go back down and then it kind of go back up a little bit and then back down and then back up a little bit and then back down. It was kind of interesting to see, um, to see those tracking like that. And so, um, yeah, so I'm going to encourage you for the first six months. It's annoying. I get it, but this is about as simple and as easy as, as it's going to get is download the my fitness pal application you don't need to buy you know buy the per or you know buy the the purchase one you certainly can if you want it it'll give you your macros and your micros to every meal and all this but like people get too caught up in that you know it's funny i'll, I'll have folks that, that talk to me about their macros and their micros and they're this and they're that and you know the only people that i see that that talk about that stuff are either nutrition's nutritionists that are already very healthy and eat very healthy and it's just their lifestyle and who they are right or it's folks that talk to a nutritionist that now you know feel really smart talking about micros and macronutrients and all this sort of stuff and you got to do this and you got to do that but you wouldn't necessarily exchange your body composition for their body composition if you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to be mean I'm not trying to be disrespectful what i'm trying to tell you is you don't need to do all that crap okay all you need to do is just track your calories know what you're eating just like if you're with money, right? You need to know what your output is. You need to know what your input is, right? So that you're gaining uh, in the way that you want. Uh, or in this case, with weight loss, losing in the way that you want. And so um, if you don't do this, you'll have success if you follow this program and over a long enough time, the time frame, track your calories. It, it's not hard. It's very easy. It's not 1999 where you got to literally write everything down and go look everything up and write it you know on a piece of paper and all that it, it's so it's never been easier just do it if you really want to to have success track your weight every morning and make sure that you input your calories at the end of every night okay um extras link i'm gonna fly through this because we're at 20 22 minutes on this video um got the built with science workout program in there we have jeremy ethier's youtube page this is a great spot to go check out his philosophy on things how he does things and his how and a lot of his how-to videos so if you want to get a sense of jeremy's stuff for free before signing up for uh, if you do decide to purchase his program he has a lot of great free stuff on there so, i mean i almost i spent about three weeks before i purchased the program just just going through his youtube stuff and doing that before i actually purchased it so <coughs> pardon me um so uh and he also has a lot of good how to's on technique on uh form breathing all the very important little aspects of lifting no ego lifting okay that's the big thing i do not ego lift okay i focus on form i focus on technique i focus on breathing and i focus on mind muscle connection what is mind muscle connection well if i'm wanting to grow this bicep and i'm lifting and i'm doing a curl i will literally focus on my bicep that simple sounds cheesy sounds a little bit hokey but i promise you this will help keep your form strong okay and you also get an idea of his just lifting philosophy and his philosophy on working out which is not doing a whole bunch of different things but doing a lot of the same things over and over and over again and as, as an example people tend to talk about muscle confusion you need to confuse your muscles for them to grow this is that is complete bs okay Let's just put it in the business world. Let's say you found a cold call template that is working for you that you are making sales with and you've iterated on and you've gotten better and better and better and you've done 100 reps, 500 reps, 1,000 reps. 
Is it good to just switch it up to switch it up? Or are you better on that 1,000th rep than you were on the 500th rep, than you were on the 100th rep, that you were on your first rep, right? It's the same thing with lifting. Back squats have become one of my favorite favorite lifts. Leg days. Most people hate them. I hated them too. But I've gotten to where I've focused so much on form, technique, mind-muscle connection, and not worrying about what anybody else thinks in terms of how much weight is on the bar, and only worrying about what I feel comfortable with and I know I'm pushing myself with safely in the best possible form. And I, I promise you, I still learn stuff on rep 1000 and I am much better on rep 1000 than I was on rep 500, 100, so on, right? It just makes sense. There's three lay, three upper upper body days, three lower body days. You can mix up some of the some of the workouts, but what I encourage you to do is not mix them up too much. Get better at what is there, and I promise it will pay off, okay? Um, and focus on form, technique, and breathing over, over ego, okay? Do not worry about how much is on that bar. It does not matter. All that matters is that it challenges you but also safely to where you can do it by yourself and you don't need a spotter. If you need a spotter for something, you're doing it incorrectly, okay? Until you get, that's a different conversation for a different day. Um, Instacart, so we've got uh, a how-to, short read and video on Instacart. Mentioned that earlier, you wanna use utilize Instacart? Go for it, it's great. There's an article on, on how to do that. Uh, Dr. Andrew Huberman, Huberman Lab podcast, alcohol, full episode and show notes. I included this because uh, it's one of my favorite episodes of, of Dr. Andrew Huberman. For those of you who are not familiar with him, um, he is a doctor of neuroscience at Stanford University. He's a professor there. Um, he has a wonderful podcast called the Huberman Lab podcast where he talks about things like neuroscience. He also talks about a lot of things uh, in the health world. This one being one of my favorite ones in regards to alcohol. Now, it may feel like uh, through the through this article, through this video, that I am railing against alcohol. I'm not necessarily, okay? For me, it was something that I made a decision on two years ago to stop doing, and it was absolutely beneficial. Wish I would have done it earlier. This podcast talks about the phys the actual physical effects and what your and how your body responds to alcohol, how it processes it, um, all all of the the chemical interactions that happen. I think it's really good to understand what it does to your body because I personally think, and this is just me, not saying it's for you, but for me, <coughs> um, quitting alcohol was the catalyst of change, positive change, one of the greatest catalysts of positive changes in my life. And this podcast is one of those reasons why. Uh, another reason for that is a book called Alcohol Explained by William Porter. So the week before Labor Day 2021, um, I had kind of started to think maybe alcohol uh, it was time to give it a break and it was time to put it on the back burner. And one of the, th one of the thoughts that really triggered me, um, is that I had thought back, I I'd had a weird just thought of wondering when was the last time I had gone a full 12 month period without consuming some form of alcohol, whether it was just a little bit as a kid, right? Uh, I say kid, I mean like 16, 17 years old, um, <coughs> excuse me, or, you know, as an adult, right, going out to the breweries and, and whatever, right, went to Nashville that summer, okay, <laughs> partied it up for sure, um, and, and consumed all the alcohol, um, but when was the last time I had gone a full 12-month period without consuming alcohol, and as I thought back, I couldn't think past 16, 17 years old in terms of remembering if I had or not, that was about the, the cutoff, and so what I realized is that it had been over 20 years, that I, I the, uh, 23 years at that point, I think, to where I had not gone a 12 year, a 12 month period without consuming alcohol. And that thought really started to bug me. It still really started to play with me a little bit and work on me a little bit. And so I started to play with the idea and I had gone several stretches. I had gone three months, four months without drinking just to, oh, just to show that I could, right? And, and I always felt better, but then I would, you know, spring would hit and now, oh, hey, it's time to, you know, go out and do yard work, crack a beer, whatever, right? And then all of a sudden it's the summer, you know, spent doing yard work and cracking beers, right? And kayaking and all that sort of stuff. But, um, so 
basically I'd started to search just different literature, different things. There's a whole bunch of, a whole slew of things out there on that. But I came across a book called Alcohol Explained by William Porter. Um, and in a lot of ways, very similar to, to Dr. Huberman in the sense that what he did was he explained physiologically what it was doing and not just physiologically, but mentally what it does to people and, and how it affects them and how your body literally responds. And I started to play with some of the ideas in this book. And this book really started to resonate with me. I started to go on walks. I started to, um, uh, after lunch, after work. Um, and then I consumed this whole book in a span of like three days. And then I, and then I re-listened to it again over the weekend. And then on Labor Day decided that, you know what, I'm going to, uh, I want to try to go a full 12 month period without consuming alcohol and just see what happens. It wasn't because of anything inherently bad. It wasn't because of inher anything inherently negative, though we have some family members that are still convinced that there had to have been something negative that happened and for you to do that. I'm like, no, I was being, we're being proactive in making change. You don't have to always be reactive in making changes that are positive, right? And so we're being proactive in making this change. And I came across, came across this book, came across the Facebook group uh, that is a private group. And it was the book, for me anyway, that really made all of the tumblers fall when it came to understanding what alcohol really does to our bodies. And um, it also, as I shared this, I've, and then also shared with the uh, Andrew Huberman Lab podcast, I also came to realize how defensive people are about alcohol. I am not here saying you should, what you should or shouldn't do. I'm not here saying what anybody should or shouldn't do, okay? Um, what I'm saying is that for me, it was the catalyst of change that led to a whole bunch of positive things happening. And I would do it over and over and again. And I really wish that I had done it earlier. That's me. It may not be you. This book, Alcohol Explained, was really the book that for me, again, made all the tumblers fall. Everything clicked into place. And I really saw how it was affecting me. And I decided to set it aside for 12 months just to see what would happen. And you know what's weird is I had a whole bunch of anxiety with that. And when I realized how much anxiety I had with making that decision, I realized, ooh, maybe there's more to this than I thought. Because it shouldn't be, it shouldn't create that much anxiety to set something aside if you're not addicted to it or if it's not a, you know, a big part of your life. So I realized that there was some anxiety with that and that, hey, you know what, I really need to take this serious. And I did. Got to the 12-month mark and it... I, I was like, and, and I even knew beforehand, I knew within six months that I was, number one, I was just excited to get to a year just to say that I could, that I did it. But number two, everything changed. It, it, it's my physiology, my body composition, my mental space. Um, I became partner in my business during that time frame. Like everything changed in a positive way. I have a better relationship with my child. I have a better rela relationship with my parents, uh, with my sister. You know, all these positive things happened. And a big part of that was the book Alcohol Explained. He also had another book called has another book called Fitness and Diet Explained, which I really enjoy and I really highly recommend. Um, and Nicotine Explained. The other decision that we made a year ago, so two years ago, as we gave up alcohol, haven't had a drop since. A year ago, Labor Day, what we decided to give up, smoking. And so it's literally a year today that my wife and I have not smoked any cigarettes and do not partake in nicotine. So that one was pretty big. I highly encourage you to check out William Porter's stuff. Um, and then I've got my favorite supplement company in there, Gorilla Mind. Um, I am working on becoming an affiliate with them because of how much I love their stuff. And I love the um, the direction of the owner of the company and, and his philosophy on things. And, and uh, so if you do see some Gorilla Mind stuff coming from me, <coughs> excuse me, um, my hope is to eventually become a uh, part-time sales affiliate for them because of how much I love their product. Um, so they have a, a good variety of stuff. It is, it is top notch. It is my favorite, um, a little bit pricier. And so I don't always buy it. Um, and so if I'm looking for supplements that are more on the cheap side, guess where I'm going to go? I'm going to go to Walmart. So just below that, my favorite cheap protein, um, is a strawberry protein from Walmart. It's actually out of any of the proteins, even from Gorilla Mind or anywhere else, uh, GNC, things like that. It's uh, this, this actually, this strawberry protein is probably the best tasting out of any of them. Like I, 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 every other protein powder, I always gag <laughs> at least a little bit. This is the one that I do not. And so, um, 
so even now, you know, I'll maybe buy some other supplements from Gorilla Mine, sometimes some creatine or things like that. But, um, and then their protein powder is really, really good. But I typically just go with the strawberry protein powder from Walmart. It's 22 bucks um, and it's it's got good flavor to it. So um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and close this thing out here just, uh, just real quick because we're at 34 minutes. Um, and I'm just kind of scrolling through the article here to make sure I didn't forget anything because uh, I want to make sure and, and get everything included. Like I said, it's it's a big, long, you know, hulk of an article. That's why I wanted to provide this. And uh, if you have any comments, please, uh, you know, certainly feel free to, to, to comment below. It really would have, I really, really, really would appreciate it, um, especially, um, or if you share it, you know, that would be big too. Because like I said, this is, this is essentially two years in the making uh, with about a month focused effort on just putting it all together. Um, and I, I intend to, to improve this and I'll add links and maybe take links away as, as things change and, you know, maybe update this. I, I do, um, you know, whether it's this or maybe maybe an article, you know, I think about creating a website too that, that maybe I can change some things if I need to down the road because I'm always open to new information. Who knows? Maybe maybe six months from now I get new a new piece of information that changes all this, right? And uh, um, and that's the and that's the route to go. I don't know, uh, but either way, uh, if you wouldn't mind, you know, just 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 even a comment, even if even if you don't want to share it, if you, you don't want to like it or whatever, just even a comment. Just let me know uh, if you found some value in this. <coughs> um, it, would, it would mean a lot to me. It really would because, like I said, it. it uh, uh, this is the article as far as uh, anything that I put on LinkedIn. This is probably the one that, that I put the most effort into. So, um, and I've tried to give as much free value as I possibly can. So hopefully you feel that and hopefully you found that to be the case. Um, and if so, uh, do me the favor of letting me know in the comment section. Okay. Um, again, I hope you have a great Labor Day, Labor Day 2023. It's nice and warm up in our neck of the woods, actually really hot. Um, I'm going to go have some coffee and go hang out with my family. Uh, I hope you do the same. Hope you have a great uh, holiday weekend. With that, we'll close this thing out. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great rest of your day.